all these bronzes around here are heads that I made more than 20 years ago. Over the years I've been making one or two more and, uh, and making larger versions of them. When we moved here, and that was 1998, um, I, didn't, I didn't have a studio at all. So I rented a small studio and I just brought with me a, a, something about a lump of plaster about this size and um, which reminded me of uh, the Rodin's Man with the Broken Nose. So uh, I went on I went on working on that in this little rented studio and I didn't really have many ideas except I thought I would just be doing drawings. But um, I, I did drawings of this, this piece as it went along and then I um, got interested in the whole idea. So I started making new pieces and drawing them and in the end I, I had all these pieces, the, this group here and this one, they are all going along at the same time in, in plaster. They all start off vertical and then as like and the drawings that I made of them were of of them vertical um, facing you. I mean it, it, it didn't seem to make any sense to uh, not draw the face. The one on the left there which is called Maria Luisa that's after Goya's um, pictures of the royal family, you know. And that one's called Our Leader. And that one is Good Soldier. Do you know the novel, The Good Soldier? At some point, I decided who they were, you know, during the process. And um, so then I had a kind of, they went just ahead. You know, they were a character, somebody I knew from literature or art history or whatever um, that I was, I was familiar with. So I could, I could then develop them in terms of my, my knowledge of them, my, you know, my familiarity. You know, obviously the shape, the shape of the head as, as it emerged suggested who it was. These are, are subjects for drawing. This was a rock that I found when we were staying with Jeff Lowe in Portugal. There was this little piece of rock and um, I, it seemed to me very heavy. I thought it was iron, um, but it's just a uh, rock that's got a lot of iron in it. Anyhow, um, I wanted to um, to make a sculpture out of it. Really, I liked the, the shape of it. And um, so I asked a friend, um, John Galt over at Skidmore, to uh, scan it and uh, make a, a, three, a 3D print of it. And then, um, I added clay to it and filed it away and that kind of thing and and then he made it a bit a bit bigger so it went through a series of of scale changes um, until it until it got to this to this scale and then um, then I I um, enlarged that up to big. This one, which is called Lit Little Jean, so this was a kind of nod to Matisse. I really like this one. This is the Pontographus that we'll be talking about. It was on a higher surface, and um, so I, I just put it down. I, I guess maybe it'll go down further, but I want it to be looking up at you, 
it grew out of a, a plaster cast of little Jean upstairs and um, and I worked on that song and then um, and then I got that enlarged in foam and so this actually started out vertical it was just too obvious it was just the way that it looked at you you know it looked too much just like an, a great Roman head you know and I didn't recognize it it didn't seem to have you know it just seemed like a big head well um, I and it wasn't a, it didn't have any character you know I think little Jean does have character but enlarging it just um, bringing it up to that and you know it wasn't just foam I was kind of working at it and cutting into it and that kind of thing but it just the the, the where it was facing you was just too crude you know it's just too obvious and so um, I I started to kind of work it you know tried on different sides of it and um, or completely upside down I mean there's, there's, you can see there's lots of potential surfaces that it could be could rest on um, and and then it was about the time that I was I was reading Kafka um, that uh, I came across this uh, the, the the Hunter Gracker story, and um, and then and then that kind of the idea of this person who's not alive or or dead, you know, but just is there and um, on his beer. So that made a sense. Made sense that he, if he was on his beer, and he was, but he was looking up at you and talking to you. This would be. You know, that seemed to be what it was about, you know. So I just, I went on working on it um, from, that, from that point of view. When you saw it, um, how soon did you recognize the image? I mean, how, how soon did you see this as a head, as it, as it, as it is? So when, when they go through this process of enlargement, it really becomes a, an issue on at, at which point do you recognize them. And so I, I sort of resist the idea of making it really obvious. I and mean, I think that discovering that this is a head looking at you is part of the, the, the sculpture itself, you know, the perception of the sculpture is part of it. Um, and even when you do recognize it and, and it's, you're not, the, after that point, you don't, you, it's, you can't really forget it, you know what I mean? That you can look at the shape of it and enjoy the shape of it, and it, you don't necessarily, you can enjoy a particular shape without thinking, well, is this an eye or an ear? You know, it's a lump. <laughs> the whole thing is, is a big lump and composed of smaller lumps, you know. And that's true of this as well. I, I felt, you know, like the Hunter Gracchus. I have felt like the Hunter Gracchus in this kind of between state where I don't really know if I'm alive or dead, you know, there's, it, you, there's no, really no communication going on, no actual physical close communication going on. I had also, I, I've been trying to do things on Zoom, actually, and I took part, a neighbor of ours, a poet, does this uh, reading every July, July 4th, of uh, leaves of grass, it's it's a nice uh, July the Fourth celebration, 
Well, it had to be done on Zoom, and um, it went quite well, I think, um, except that I was, for some reason, my image didn't come up. So I was reading um, a bit, um, and, um, but I was just not there. I was, they, they could hear my voice, and I was taking part, and I, I could see them, but I wasn't present. I thought that was a very strange kind of place to be.